Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your Tech Tosas, and uh, today we're going to spend some time talking about why we want our kids to go to your Zoom meeting via ClassLink Clever instead of just joining with a meeting ID and password. Uh, you probably have heard the millions of horror stories um, with Zoom and how people are taking advantage when they know your meeting ID and your password. So if you were to share those through Google Classroom, there's a chance that a kid could give that to someone else or someone could get that ID and password and um, kind of troll your meeting. So by doing it this way, your student signs into their class link. It's going to log them in. If you give it a second. Now we have told the kids how to join your Zoom virtual class. All they do now that they have single sign on is click on the clever button and you'll see that it's going to automatically log them in. They will end up in your, once they're logged in, they will end up in your Clever page. And we're going there right now. Now the student can see two pages, the teacher's homeroom. This is a high school teacher, so they have all other students in one, in one big homeroom class. So the teacher has already followed our instructions and created a Zoom meeting for English period one. Student will click on it. Okay, the Zoom period four is going to be there that the teacher has created. We're going to assume that the teacher is already on Zoom. The student will say open Zoom. And you will notice that the student never had a meeting ID or a password to log into the meeting. It says, please wait, the meeting host will let you in soon. Okay, and then the teacher can just go and say admit and notice that the student now is in the a meeting without having to log into Zoom. I hope this kind of clarifies why we're doing it this way. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosas.